Well, this past week, uh, San Diego jazz legend, tenor saxophonist Gary Lefevre passed away from complications or from a stroke that he suffered a few years ago. He's a good friend, a good friend to a lot of jazz musicians in San Diego and a real legend. In fact, he played on the jazz, was Stan Kenton's orchestra, played backing Judy Garland and a whole lot more. Take a look at tonight's World of Wonder. The very first time I picked up that horn at the age of seven, I fooled around with it, and then I think maybe a couple of years later, I took a few lessons on the alto. I used to practice eight or 12 hours a day and did that for four years straight. Never missed a day. I left San Diego at, uh, when I was 19 years old. I went to L.A., and the first day I was in L.A., I went to join the union, and as I was standing at the counter to pay my money to join, Terry Gibbs was standing right next to me taking care of business, and he said, I heard him say, I'm looking for a tenor player to, to go to Las Vegas with me. And I looked over and I said, uh, I'd, I'd like to try out for that, you know. And he said, well, okay. You know, he looked at me, and I was pretty young, and he didn't know what to think. <laughs> After Terry Gibbs, I started playing at the Lighthouse with Howard Rumsey's Lighthouse All-Stars. And uh, I worked there with, with Howard Rumsey for a couple of years, and then uh, I joined Shorty Rogers after that. I would take the scores that he wrote and run them over to the copyist. I'd drive them over, so I got to see all of his scores and the way he wrote and laid everything out, and I'd take it to the copyist, and then he'd copy everything out, and I'd take the scores back to Shorty. So I was kind of, you know, like the kid that was <laughs> doing the runs like this, you know. quite a few times. Uh, we'd worked around L.A. and different clubs. And Shorty took me up there. The two of us flew to Oakland just to do that thing with the rhythm section up there. And so we had played together quite a bit before that television show was done. I could, you know, pick up on the things he was going to do, and I'd kind of like just blend in with him or play a little background here and there and just kind of make it sound the way it should sound, you know. <laughs> That's the way it was. Mention the name Gary Lefevre to any jazz musician in town, and you receive a warm smile. He passed away at the age of 74, born 1939, 2013. He will be missed. Back to you.